And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a radial bar graph. We need simple math, it's not that complex. You may want to use a calculator if you have somewhat odd numbers. But I'll show you this example with easy numbers. Let us first create a circle or control when you do. Make sure this lock icon is checked and then readjust the width. I'll just use 300. I'll hold shift and click on the black color swatch to give it a stroke and I get rid of the fill. Then I'll open the fill and stroke menu. Oh, let me use these values, that's fine. We will readjust the width for the stroke anyway later on. Now I press Ctrl D and I create more circles and I go down with 50 millimeters for each. The height is automatically adjusted as I've got this lock icon checked. Now select it all. Pick millimeters for example or pixels, whatever you want. I'll choose 20. Then open your line and distribute menu. Align it to the center. So we want to have something like this as our basic element. We will keep the fill and stroke menu as we need it later on. Now let us give that different colors. Always hold shift and click on one of these color swatches to adjust the stroke and not the fill. Now we need some math, so we know that 360 degrees is 100% of a circle, 180 therefore must be 50. These are just simple examples. Let me use, I don't know, let's say 25% for the outer ring. So this is now our percentage value that we have, so we need to divide that by 100 to get our Z value. Which is nothing but one fourth. And then we use Z times 360, so one fourth times 360, which is 90. That was obviously a very simple example. Select your outer ring, then use the ellipse tool, and you can set the endpoint to 90 now. So this is our value for the degree, the x value. Let's just say that we have a 70%, which makes it a little bit more complex to calculate. So 70 divided by 100 should be 7 tenths. 7 times 30 is 210. And 7 times 6 is 42. So we should have 252 if we didn't miscalculate here. And I've said use a calculator if your numbers get a little bit too complex. But 70 is still doable without. So now again I select the outer ring. Activate the ellipse tool and type in 252 as the endpoint. And this should be fine for 70%. Do it like this for all of the rings that you've got. You can also do it manually if you just drag this circle. So I don't have values in this example, I just do it manually as it's quicker. When you drag it like this, make sure that you're on the outside and not on the inside of your ring. So the next step is to get rid of parts of the stroke as we don't want to have these lines that go to the center point. And one easy way to do that is to select every ring, press Ctrl D to copy it. Let me give that a black stroke color and I change the end to 360 so that we have a full circle again. Select the outer ring. Put it on top, then shift click on the black one, right click and set a clip. So you need to repeat that now for every ring that you've got. And then give it the original color, so shift and click on the color swatches. Once again, press Ctrl D, 360, give it a black stroke color. 
bring the green one to the front, shift click on both, right click and side clip. When you've arrived at this point, you can simply select it all and then go to the stroke style menu and adjust the width, maybe to 30. Now 40 is a little bit too big. I go down to 35. And this is how you can create this radial bar graph in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.